Audience on Friday, 33 saves, put together his own highlight reel in that game against BU. We're underway, Harvard skates from right, looks to begin the push out of their defensive end of the ice. Hop skipping a jump away from a hip check, and Harvard carries into the offensive zone, that's Seedham up the far boards. That's what this in Hockey East, right in the conversation. Yeah, they're 6 4 and 2. Here's a bid for Harvard crashing into goal. And an outstanding save by Levi holding his ground against Baker Shore. It's a good result, an overtime loss on the road just to force it to that extra period against a very good Terriers team. Cross side pass, a wrist shot. That one whistles wide. Levi went post to post, never found the frame behind him. For Harvard, this is Miller pinched along the board. Northeastern emerges. Harvard for some push the other way, even with a missed connection there. Got a delayed offside into the zone. Even with that missed connection, Harvard's just past the shoulder of Gibson. A big hit by Wong. Sends Hughes spilling down in the corner. Now the puck finds Hughes as he hits his skates. Carries out to the circle. He continues to cycle. Looks for an opening. A wrister knocked down before he gets in on Gibson. Novak, Northeastern Jeremy Bushler. Two assists credited on that goal to Laferriere. And the second assist goes to the guy playing his first game of the season. Jimenez picks it up. So already an impact made by one of those new guys. Again, just the depth this Harvard team has is super impressive. Well, that's the standard, right? You get into the game and you're expected to compete and play at a high level. And that all starts from practice. Last from the point is a bit on edge and it flutters past Levi. Back to the high slot. Now into the low slot. Harvard can't trigger a shot. This is Hayduke muscling for it. Now back out to the top. Cedar with a blast and a second tally for Harvard. The Crimson have scored twice in a matter of moments before a sellout crowd in that LIU team, and they picked up their first top 20 win of the program's history earlier this year. Yeah, you can see the growth they've had. A lot of Division I transfers that have built the foundation of that pro. Comes Harvard in a two-on-three. Poked away at the blue line, and now Northeastern looking to catch Harvard on a change. A poor angle shot is wristed to the near side post. Mitchell Gibson at the post. He knew when that pass was in the slot where he needed to be. He lunged out, jousted at it, very aggressive, and credits Northeastern and made it look like a Harvard penalty kill. Keep Thrum, cross ice, line pass between the legs, back out or into his freshman season. Have a slashing on Novak, and so that gives Harvard the two-minute two advantage here for the final minute or so of this first period. Yeah, we thought it was a hand pass. Seedham had lost his stick, and I guess that's where they got the slash. Last in front. Ten seconds to go in the period. And we're continuing to probe, and they lose it out. Paused at the high slot. Front is camped out in front, as is Laferriere. A one-timer as Levi goes sprawling and gets another good look or two. See him over to Coronado. Glove saved, deflects off of Levi. Would have been high anyway, but he did get a piece of it. And now three, but always dangerous now here at two with plenty of game left. Bushler leaves it around and said it's a turnover. Farrell goes for a jam job on the backside. Can't. Oh, that was a dangerous turnover for Northeastern. Yeah, not the guys you want to give the puck to either in Coronado, Joe Miller, and Sean Farrell. And there is Coronado taken off of his skates as Lund works back the other way. Onside for the Crimson. Rister. Here's a shot that deflects off of Levi. Coronado scrambles to it. Because... With the schedule that they've got coming up, this is the team that is squarely. Harvard wins the offensive draw here. 
Ruble, one of the alternate captains for Northeastern. I haven't talked about him, but he has been such a steady presence on defense. A senior from Cumberland, Rhode Island, and has just been that major piece for all four years now for Northeastern. And one word that comes to mind, strength. He ranked first in bench press, power output, long jump, and grip at the 2019 NHL Combine. Well, they, that's good size, but he wasn't the biggest guy there at that combine for sure. But the good measurables, no doubt. Northeastern outshot Harvard by seven in the opening period. They've outshot them by two more here in the second. A wrister ran into the midsection of Farrell, who was camped out in front with McDonald spotting him. Now here's Demelis, who went down and went to the bench earlier this period. Good to see number 21 in black and white out on the ice. Five minutes to go here in the second period. Struble carries in up the far boards. Looks to pass in front. Instead, it deflects right back to him. A blast from the low slot. That one's taken away from Fontaine. Tapped into the zone, but Harvard onto it. Oh, Fontaine, such a streaky player, set up the first goal by scoring it. And then that's been on a slide, but a great turnaround here. They've shown in the second period. And like we've mentioned, they're still right in the mix in Hockey East at 6 4 and 2 with an opportunity. And now it's Bushler corralling behind the net. And it's both UConn and frankly Merrimack that at the end of last year they were in a position, they were on the fringe of that pairwise with about three or four weeks to go and be on hand to be the first opponent at the brand new Toscano Family Ice Arena in stores. Part of that flurry that Northeastern's got going on in their schedule. Here's Harvard looking to build a two-goal lead, and they do. Getting Devin Levi on an island. Nowhere to go for him is Harvard. Back up to a two-goal lead. It's Miller's second of the evening. If you want to see what Harvard's top line is all about, just watch the last 10 seconds. Unselfish Coronado finding the open Miller, his second goal tic-tac-toe everyone combined in the nation and Coronado and Farrell together averaging combined three points per game that's tops of the NCAA for any teammates and Joe Miller has been the benefactor of skating on their wing and Harvard re-establishing the quick start that they did build a three goal lead once again Northeastern skates from left to right here in period number three they are cloaked in the black with White numbers, white letter, red trim. It's Harvard in the home white. Crimson letters and numbers appropriately. Beckins in. Eastern wants to get some momentum. Seed him with a dangerous skate through the top of Gibson's crease. Don't know if that's advised. They yeah, should probably have a do not enter sign in the blue paint, but Gibson was back on his line. Seed him, knew what he was doing. Off the backboard from Hughes. Still pinched in and now pinched into the bench. ECAC with Herbert and Quinnipiac inside that cut line and the pair wide. Here's a pass in front and a pass LaFerriere. That's so tough for a right handed shot to. Seedham fires it over to the left circle. Now down to the face off dot. That shot is deflected and it goes to the end boards. to the blue line and put up here Hughes with the lacrosse goal finish oh that's impressive it only gets it back to a three goal game but as beautiful as it comes for Hughes the fourth of the night even the Harvard fans are a buzz here in Cambridge Jack Hughes jaw dropper Jimenez digging away with Colangelo Hughes with the puck. Gibson had a look, not back to the post. College hockey and is and a skill that has been perfected. Laferriere breaks in. A wrister is saved by Levy. There is you try and break this game up into fragments. You get a goal, keep Harvard off the board, and all of a sudden, 
two goals and six minutes to play doesn't seem. When you're thinking of pulling the goalie. Here's an opportunity though for Harvard breaking in and missing high over the top of Levi. Some teams down three goals. Anywhere in the four to five minute range isn't unreasonable. And you see a lot of teams do it. They get a power play to get Levi to bite on the pass to Matthew Coronado. Was a two on one underneath and Sean Farrell just sent it into orbit. Home run pass through the skates of everybody, including Williams, covered up by Gibson. So not as designed for Northeastern, but it works out well. An offensive zone draw coming, but just over up the ice. It's a lot of the goals coming from extended zone time. Onside for Harvard, sent in and kicked aside by Had winning the ECAC. Off the draw, Struble fires it through. It glances to Fontaine. Fontaine was looking for a redirect off the body. It would be targeted. Here's a wrister. That Gibson flashing out his right leg. Kreska poked away at the blue line. Knocked forward by Novak. 